I strongly believe this is a great opportunity. It's a great year for uh, for Lazio, and uh, they're fine. Fourth place, or even third, even even to dream about Scudetto? about something. Not it. If if everything goes, if you're healthy, uh, mentally, physically, and I just feel that they have the right players in place this year after three, four years that they've been playing together to actually do something and, and, and perform. That would this be incredible. Lazio, that would be incredible. This, the Lazio of this year reminds me of the uh, uh, Napoli Sarri, the 91 points. Really? When we finished second. And I think that was the year that the something Napoli... special was there. Correct. Something special where there was something in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on the same... Mm -hmm. Page, they made a um, an agreement, a pact, a pact, the gentleman's agreement, where everyone was focused on. And I think the same pact is in Lazio uh, this year. The locker room is solid. They love their coach. They know each other. They play well. great soccer. And I just think that a little bit at a time. And now these players that three, four years ago they were nobodies, and now they are great players purchased at a reasonable price. And now they're very, worth, they're worth, uh, they're yeah. worth a lot of money, and they're playing the best soccer in Serie A currently. And tomorrow, between these two teams, oh you're gonna see, you're Caledonia. gonna see a great, uh, you're gonna see a great game. Uh, two teams uh, that tomorrow. go for it, up too. and down, up and down. You're gonna see, you know, coast to coast. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna I'm see a great, uh, a great game. Uh, more so for me, it's like we've talked about consistency. Obviously, for Lazio was that key word last year where you would see one Lazio and then the next Lazio that came out, it wasn't really consistent. And it feels like this year that they do have more of a consistent basis for them, at least in Serie A's um, sake. And Key players can, have stepped up. If if they can continue that. They have I matured. Mean, the race for Scudetto, I would absolutely Well, they would be, like we said, if see. they win tomorrow... Three points. Yeah, they, they'll be it's three still, points. Yeah. There will be three points. Uh, same same thing. Yeah. yeah, the season. Yeah. I mean, it would be unbelievable to see Juventus, Inter, and um, Lazio. and Lazio until May. If they could, obviously, there's a lot of ifs, ends, and buts. But three teams that all have really special qualities. Inter, it's more of a burning desire led by a winner as a leader that's just going to maximize. You know, it's like a towel that's got squeeze. water in it. He's yeah. just going to squeeze it to the the end. And it's going to get to a Juventus that's probably going to be a well-oiled machine that's going to be playing with lots of quality. And then a Lazio who has this dream. So we might be setting up for a, a but, photo finish. Correct. But even also Juventus now. Juventus, I think it Different will come questions. a time where Juventus will have to make a choice. It all depends how far they get into Champions League. And I think they will get you know pretty far. So now you have, based on the roster and of course on the everyone being healthy... You also have to make a choice. Inter already has a choice. Now, Europa League, if everyone gets yeah. healthy, do you want to go with all, or you want to concentrate on uh, on the... Um, so, yeah. 